Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about test tool architecture and we, we, we say that we need a controller so that we can control the different load generators and then we need a result store so that we can store all those performance related data in one single location and then we have an analyzer and this analyzer program is going to read from this result store and give us important metrics and gives us the 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 data that makes sense so now in this in this video we are going to discuss more about enterprise load testing tool and then what sort of characteristics that we we need from a load testing tool and so basically you know what, what are the things that you would expect so you're supposed to expect out of a load testing tool so let's define the characteristics of a load test of a of a good load testing tool all right so so this is if you, if you recall that uh, you know in a couple of videos ago we say that whenever we are going to our our load generator program so list our load generator program so it basically going to open a socket to the server to the web server and then it's going to send http commands all right and that http commands are basically the activities that was happening on the browser okay so so do you think and and to be honest those to to get those http commands for a complicated website it extremely extremely difficult you may not be able to able to able to uh, able to have those correct http commands okay so for that's the reason why we should do something like this so let's imagine this is the browser and the browser the user is going to do some activities and so here's a server and the browser sends request http request to the server and server responds back so what we're going to do we are going to keep something in between all right so there is another program and that program is sitting between the browser and server and intercepting whatever http requests are going from the browser and server when this user is doing some activity on that browser okay and let's say call this software as recorder so what the, what the recorder does recorder intercept the request the http commands that is going through between the browser and server when a real user is is doing some activity on a web page and let's say this recorder put those commands to a program and let's say that program called it's called a script okay and this process is called recording so essentially a good load testing tool should give me an ability to record users activity and also it was going to give me an ability so that so that whatever things are recorded a use a, a programmer a test a programmer or a load tester can go and change modify or customize this script okay so that means once this recorder dumps all those script or all those commands these commands can be changed these commands can be customized to satisfy our need so a good load testing tool should give us programming interface to customize the script that was recorded in in, in the step one all right and then a good load testing tool should give us ability to 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 run this script in a scale out manner that means whenever we do a load test sometimes we need to run 20000 such script okay and these scripts if not scalable that means if these scripts are not properly done then we might need a lot of resources to run the load test so that means okay so this can be very optimized and they should take you know in a minimal amount of resources like cpu and memory and the fourth thing about a good load testing tool is to is to collect statistics like say for example in this case this controller let's say this is our test environment in our test environment we have two web server we have four database servers 
and we have some edge caching and so on. So essentially this controller can collect CPU, memory, network and different statistics from this system on the test and then the ability to collect system statistics okay and then the once we collect system statistics and then we put in this result store we have a really super tool which can analyze this data and gives us a, dat a data set which makes sense so that means this can do all sorts of statistical analysis analysis on the data that we have collected so that as, as end user uh, as a tester we should be able to make uh, make right kind of decision to what to change to what to tune to know essentially like you know, instead of instead of going through data going to the data ourselves this there should be a tool that can help us these are the characteristics of a good load testing tool so now the question is that are you going to build a test tool like this in-house or you want to go and then see look for some kind of tools that is already available in market and doing these things so the answer is basically depends and in this let me tell you when like you now what are the advantage of disadvantage of both the approaches so the building an in-house so to build an in-house load testing tool it is very expensive okay so basically by this by itself is a complete product and also this will be very this will be done really well that means all those all those load generators should be very 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 scalable and optimized and so on okay and once once you 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 develop this develop this tool then also you need to maintain it in a regular interval because technology changes right technology changes if today some scripts something you are able to record maybe tomorrow the same website you are trying to test may not be able to record okay so therefore you have to change based on kind of protocol and so on so basically you have to maintain those things all right so therefore it depends like you now for example you are a bank okay your main focus is to ensure that your your banking applications are running perfectly right so in that case instead of creating your in-house load testing tool maybe you can think of some other option like looking for open source open source load testing tool or buying an enterprise tool that's going to give you all those facilities all right and but however like you now if you are a, if you are a company like IBM or or let's say Microsoft so in that case like you know what is your thing that you are basically developing some product and you do constant benchmarking and so on sometimes the product of IBM and Microsoft is used by different vendors or at different places and that time they need to do something called benchmarks okay so if you want to do your benchmark and that benchmark is a kit that you want to give as part of your product then in that case it's it's, it's worth to 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 put some effort in building your own in-house load testing tool in fact both IBM and Microsoft they have their own load testing tool so so that is how that is what is in-house load testing tool but if you do in-housing load testing tool you do have a lot of control and hopefully like you, know, you since you are building the test tool then you you probably know in and out of the performance numbers that is coming from the load testing tool the other option is looking for a open source version this is open source and and there are quite a lot of open source tools available the, one of the leading open source open source uh, load testing tool is jmeter and this was this is backed by apache foundation and it has a very good uh, i would say uh, I, I would say such a lot of good functionalities that can be really compared to a enterprise grade load test, load testing tool and also since the source code is available then you can exactly know what is happening and then you can also modify the tool itself all right and another another tool is not that very popular it's called grinder so that is also open source so and then finally is the enterprise so finally it's something so so finally it is about enterprise load testing tool so one of the very premium load testing tool is called load runner by hp okay and probably what about load testing tool i have used probably this is the the you know mo, in this load load runner has uh, you know is, 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 the, is the number one in terms of functionalities and also the number one in terms of price i think it's very expensive also all right and then some other tools called 
newer load and also IBM has something called IBM rational performance tester and then there are a couple of cloud vendors there's they're saying like you know uh, like Soasta cloud test okay and uh, and also Oracle has something called Oracle application testing suites okay so essentially like you know these are the tools that are available for you so what I'm going to do I'm going to going to create completely different courses on Apache Jmeter and load runner in this lecture series we are not really going to dig deep into these tools rather we'll understand about the foundation of performance testing so thank you so much for your time